Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at crude oil today. You can see that in the overnight, crude made a big push to the upside based mostly off the API report. It was a really bullish API report. We had EIA today, which was also pretty bullish, except that I think it was already baked in to the price based on the API the night before. But you can see crude, again, made a really big push to the upside in the overnight. And then right in here, we actually made a slightly higher high in price, but it was on divergence. You can see we, we were actually having weakening momentum. So price pushed higher, momentum wasn't following. And you can see the histograms had actually turned red right here. We put in this big doji right here, followed by an inside doji. And then that triggered to the downside. And as we were breaking that bars low, we were triggering this bearish inflection on the 30 minute chart. And then we got a nice push down in crude. Down the 50 EMA, you know, again, as we all know, the 50 EMA is always significant on these 30 minute charts. Crude actually uh, pushed underneath it a little bit, but then ultimately closed back above it. And then as usual, you can see just kind of chopped around it under it, back above it, under it, back above it, touched it, under it, back above it. So crew just um, kind of went sideways after this initial push down. But this was a nice push down off of divergence and a 30 minute bearish inflection. And of course, the Unirenko chart is our primary trading chart. This is how we were trading crude. We were in compression, and then we had a trend reversal breakout. It's a little bit of a sloppy setup right here, but trend reversal breakout nonetheless. Um, you can see we came down here. We made a pivot. It wasn't a lower pivot low. Our previous pivot low was back here, this little double bottom right here. And then we came up here, and we made a lower pivot high and then broke to a lower pivot low. And then crude considered continued to run down. And at that same time, we were triggering that inside doji on the 30 minute chart to the downside. And then crude just went ahead and headed lower. Got down into here, we hit significantly undervalued on 30 minute chart. You can see we're making divergence on the Unirenko momentum chart. So that was telling us that it was time to consider taking profits or at the very least start tightening stops. But we had a nice push down, several Trend to Pro 2.0 signals off the 18. We had one right there, had another one here, another one here, here, and here. So uh, plenty of opportunities. If you missed the original push to the downside or the trend reversal breakout, we had numerous uh, valid setups with a trend to pro 2.0 signal bar so plenty of opportunities to participate in the move down in crude